Well, the, the, the botanical garden started um, 20 years ago. It was an empty piece of land. We've built it up over the last um, years. Um, in the beginning, we were just kind of establishing ourselves on the land. And then we sort of built the whole infrastructure around that. And it sort of, we've, we've discovered it as we've gone along. It's not like we had a master plan of exact proportions, but we've sort of found um, different gardens that have emerged as we've gone along. And it's also been very much dependent on other people's passion. So, for example, the cactus garden was started by a man called Volker, who was totally interested in cactus. And so that's his sort of, his dream that sort of started to land on the place. And that's now, goodness knows, maybe 15 years old or something. It's the same bit with the orchids. The orchids have sort of come from many different places around Oroville. And then they were start, the garden was started by Navy, or a Navy. And then, um, so the garden was started by Royal Navy and then other people have carried that garden, maybe four or five people have carried it over the years. And Francois and Natalie a while ago built a beautiful orchid house. So the orchids come from that sort of lineage. And the rest of the ornamental garden is really a collection of different people bringing in plants from wherever they travel, whenever they go to a nursery, and slowly we put up a collection of the ornamental plants. Then you've got the Japanese garden, which is being built by Noel and designed by Jyoti, and that's been a labour of love for the last, I don't know, three years. You've got the, the maze, which we started many years ago, and has had thousands of school children run through and get lost. There's the labyrinth, which was started by the, by actually um, Brian and Fano from America, who were totally into labyrinths, so with a project like that, we did with them. The Plumeria Garden is um, the work of Martin, who loves plumeria, so he brought an extraordinary collection of about 70 different types of plumeria from Machmandir when he came here, and so we have a beautiful collection, and that's now probably 15 years old. And we have a 100-year-old plumeria tree which was brought from Pondicherry on the back of a lorry by Francois and Natalie, so that stands in quite a place in the plumeria garden. We've got the new pond in the middle of the, in the, middle of the whole gardens is the new pond, we dug the hole about 20 years ago and we finally could afford to put a liner in it and now it's a beautiful place with lots of lotus and water lilies and also extraordinary other plants and fish and the birds come there to drink. You've got the Indian garden which is the Indian garden of culture and heritage so this is a real attempt to try and connect people to the stories of the plants and the Indian mythology and that was actually from a grant by Judge and so we built that about four years ago. There's the tropical dried green forest, which is um, about 10 acres, I think. And uh, the whole gardens are about 50 acres, so the TDF takes up about 10 acres of that. And that was the first thing we planted, so that's a beautiful forest, full of the native evergreen species that you ever see. And then you've got the Arboretum, which is an extraordinary collection of about 300 species of trees, a lot of them native and some from around the world. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it.